Eiffel. London. 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 Eiffel. London. My name's Coombe Cassius, this is Eiffel London. With me I've got still the WBO light heavyweight champion, Nathan Cleverly. Nathan, it was a tough fight and it was a very close fight. Did you think it was going to be as close as it was? Um, all the way along, back home, um, I said to my girlfriend and my dad, this was going to be a tough fight, no doubt about that, you know, and at the press conferences there's a, there's a bit of a front where you kind of, you know, uh, t Tony was saying a few verbals and I replied back, it gets a little bit disrespectful at times, but ultimately I knew it was going to be a tough fight. And it, it proved that, you know, Tony's a, he's a real angry fighter, he's one of the hungriest out there, you know, and he had 10,000 fans or 8,000 scousers behind him tonight, and every shot that he threw, they was cheering, you know, and it's, it, it proved I, I had to show a lot of courage, you know, to come up from Wales um, into the Lions' den, defend my world title against a dangerous opponent, dangerous undefeated opponent, in front of his own crowd, uh, you know, and... and and fight like that and win. You know, it takes a lot of courage, and um, you know, I showed that tonight in abundance. And um, people are going to see I'm a worthy world champion now. Yeah, I mean, um, at the weigh-in, there was about 300 yeah. supporters of Tony, yeah, yeah. and you got a bit of a hostile reception. Obviously, you you're going to, like you just said, the Lions Den, 10,000. What was your immediate feeling as you was walking into that? Into that um, little walk into the ring, what was your immediate reaction? There's two ways to go on it, you either crumble or you thrive on it, so I thought, you know, I can't crumble under this, you know, I've got to show I'm a true champion, and I've got to thrive on this, you know, I've got to, I've got to soak it up, and it's got to make me stronger, so, you know, there's no way could I allow that to um, to bring me down, so at the way in it was hostile, but I just kind of tried to enjoy the situation, my ring entrance, you know, I was getting booed left, right and centre, <laughs> cold, whatever. Um, but you just get on with it and um, get, in, get in, in inside those ropes and fight. And that's what I did. And do you feel like you're ready to take on someone like Bernard Hopkins and if obviously he comes through a fight with Chad Dawson? Cheers, Frank. Nice one, man. Um, why not? You know, it's, uh, he's obviously got business to do with Chad Dawson, which is, which is uh, going to be a difficult fight. It's something that we, we, we're looking for, um, but if not, you know, I'd like Babe Shumanov, the WBA champion, for, you know, so I can become unified light heavyweight champion of the world. Um, he's um, an undefeated opponent, so you know that would be a great fight for me, great stepping stone, and then maybe a Hopkins or a Dawson in the future. Congratulations on a great all British fight and uh, retaining your belt. Thank you very much, Nathan Cleverly. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kung Cassis with Nathan Cleverly for iPhone London. Thank you very much. I feel London. I feel London.